maybe you're already using the Divi theme and maybe you're just thinking about it, but if you're not already using it, this is probably the best time to get started because Elegant Themes has released Divi 3.0 and there has been no minor updates or upgrades here. Divi has really been completely reinvented. It is extremely fast to use and unbelievably easy. So especially if you are new to web design and you want to be able to design websites without coding and you want to do it quickly, this is a theme you absolutely need to consider. So you may have already watched my previous demo of Divi and just how powerful the backend editor is. But in this video, I'm going to show you Divi's brand new visual page builder. Now, to be honest, it doesn't really need too much instructions as it's that obvious and that easy to use. But nonetheless, I'm going to give you a tour of Divi 3.0 and an overview here. One frustrating part of web design, at least for me, is all the literal things that pop up. Why is a page element not displaying the way it should? Why is the, the padding or the spacing slightly off? And why won't it adjust when I change the settings? But that frustration is removed when you use a visual editor because everything can be dragged and dropped, even the spacing. So this is really incredible. So when you have logged into your website, you'll see here that I'm logged in to the website. You'll notice up here, there's the Divi icon and it says enable visual builder. Now, when you click that, that is just as it says, going to enable the visual builder. Now the editor here, it doesn't even really feel like it's here. You got to take a look at it. It was designed this way. So it is not obtrusive. It stays out of your way and you're able to easily make changes. Now, when you go to make changes on your website, let's say I want to change something about this text right here. It's going to look as though you are on the live site. Like right now, this looks like I am on the live website and I'm going to be able to click anywhere that I want and just start making changes. So let's say I want to change what it says here. Then all I got to do is highlight the text and start typing. Now you'll notice this small little dots down here. And this is going to give you a little bit bigger menu and you're going to be able to add new modules from the library. You can delete a layout, you can change the settings. So we'll look at some of those, but then you'll also notice down here on the right hand side, you have a save button. So the real benefit here is you don't have to waste all that time previewing all of your edits and then going back, adjusting them, re-previewing it, saving it. It's just done when you hit save and all of the edits are happening right in front of your eyes. So that right there saves in a tremendous amount of time. Let's say now I am in an article here and I would like to bold some of the text. Let's say I want to bold white label or I want to link this. When I click on enable visual builder, the tool is going to allow me to make those changes right here on the front end. Okay. So now the visual builder is enabled and I'm going to highlight this words right here, white label. You'll see the text editor bar pops up right here so I can bold this text. Or if I want to link it, I can simply click here, add in the URL and it's done. I can go to the bottom and click save. It's that easy to do. Same with being here on the front. I can highlight this text and I can choose to adjust it. So you, here I'm going to have the same settings as I would with the page builder in the back end of the website. I have the settings here so I can adjust how the row appears. I can actually clone this particular section. If I want to duplicate this row, I can adjust how it appears. So right now we have a split 50 50 layout and I could change that if I would like to. So let's say I want to adjust the settings. Now you'll see that I have this pop-up and the pop-up editor I can drag anywhere on my screen. So if I want to put it over here out of the way I can and you'll notice I can click on the icon here. It's going to make it bigger pop-up, a smaller pop-up so I can make it whatever size that I would like. Now I can also click this button here and it will become a sidebar editor. So I can also change the size of the editor. So it's really just meant to stay out of your way. So you can go in, you can make changes however you like, however it's comfortable for you. If I want to add in any padding, I can do that here. If I want to change the design, add a background image to this row here, I can do that, adjusting the background color. And when I'm done, I can simply click save or I can cancel out.
Now I can also undo any of the changes I've made. If I don't like them, I want to start over. All from right here in that editor. And when I'm done, I'll be able to preview the changes right here. Now you'll notice when you have a row here at the very bottom, if I wanted to adjust any of the padding and I hover over the bottom line here, you'll see the spacing right here. And all I can do is I can simply drag this here so I can change the height automatically. And then I can also come over here to the side and I can drag the padding so this pushes in more. So that way I don't have to go into my settings and put in 30 pixels and then see that's a little bit off and then rechange the number. All I have to do is drag and drop till I like it. Now let's say I would like to add another module here, another row here in between these trending tools and this email signup. I'm going to click on this plus sign here for add new section. And I can add in just like I would with the back end, a full width section, regular, specialty. I can click on what I want. And now I can choose the layout. If I want it to be just one module, if I want to have two modules. So let's say I'm going to go with this two modules here. Now you'll notice that I can insert a module. I can choose any type that I like. So Divi actually has over 40 different modules. You can insert an image, you can insert videos, uh, sliders, testimonials, a login form, contact form, text, a pricing table, countdown, a post. So as you can see, there's so many different ones that you can add in. So you can either scroll through here and pick the one that you would like, or you can just do a search for it and it will pop it up real fast for you. So I'm going to say that I'm going to insert an image here on the left and you'll see again right here it pops up my settings box. So now I can upload the image. Let's see, I'll just pick any, any random image for the moment. I'm going to choose an image, upload that, and you'll see now it is appearing there. So I'm going to go to the pop-up editor here so now I can move it around and see. So now I have my image that's appearing there. And I'm good with that, so I'm going to say OK. And I have a plus sign here for a new module. So now I'm going to go down and I'm going to put in some text. So I can select my text color if I want it, the text to be aligned to the left or the right. And I can go ahead and I can add in my text here. And when I'm done, click OK. Now obviously you fill this up a bit more, look a little bit nicer, but I can highlight my text. Again, here's that text editor that pops right up. Now, if I want to change the layout, I can simply say, no, I want to add this module over here on the right-hand side. And then I'm going to grab this module here, and I'm going to put that one back over on the left. So literally all you have to do is drag and drop. Now, a couple other things that you'll notice is down here where you have this bottom purple menu, you have this little clock icon and that is your editing history. So you can see this is keeping track of every change that I've made. So if I ever want to go back in time and say, you know what, I wish I could revert back to that previous layout that I had, all I have to do is simply find it on that list. I can click back to where I made the edit and you'll see that it'll instantly make that change on the website. That's not the right one. I can simply click and there, now my image is back on the left, my text is back on the right. So I don't have to redo it. I can simply click that history button and now I've saved that change. So that's a really, really nice feature if you ever need to be able to resort back. And let's say you just want to play around with the design. You can never make a mistake. You can never lose your changes because it's, it keeps track of all of your changes right there. Now another thing that Divi 3.0 makes really easy is building responsive websites. Down here you'll see that we are looking at the desktop view. You also have these other two views, the tablet view and the mobile phone view. So you can click on those and it's automatically going to change the site to that particular view. So then you can look and see how your website is going to appear on different devices. And if you don't like it, for instance, let's say I want this to be centered. I simply highlight it and I'm going to make it centered. And now it's centered and I can save that change. And now that change is only going to appear for the tablet. So I can go back over to my mobile device. I can see how it looks on the mobile phones. And again, any changes I make here are going to be applied to this specific version of the site. So it makes it really, really easy to use and create mobile sites.
Now, if you're not updating a current page, you can still create a new page or post using the Visual Builder. So to do so from your dashboard, you would select a new page or post, whatever you want to create. Then you'll click on Use the Divi Builder, and here you're going to be presented with the page just like you always were, where you can choose to use the Divi Builder and add in your sections, your modules, and create the page you'd like. If you want to use the Visual Builder, you can do so by clicking on the blue button here, and that is going to load a blank page for you where you can begin building the page. So here you can go in, you can add a background image if you want. So let's see if I can find a good one just to use as an example. I'll use this one here. And I'll click OK. And that has added the image for me. So now what I want to do is I'm going to add, let's say we'll do text on top of that. I'll start typing that into the module. And I can type in my text right here that I want to appear. And since it's a dark background, I'll select that. Let's see, I want this to be center, and I want to use light text so it really pops. And just as with the Divi Builder, you're still going to have the same settings for all the different modules. So you can increase the text size of the header. Here, this is actual text size, so I can increase that to whatever I want and go through the settings, click OK. Now, if I want to add another module here, so let's say I want to add a call to action, I can click here and I can now add in a button and I can put in the URL, I can put in the button text, the alignment, and click OK. So after I edit all of those settings, it'll be there. But if I want to add now another section, I simply click on this blue plus sign here instead of the green. So the green is for the module, the blue is for the section, and now I can select if I want to have regular, specialty, full width, and I can choose, let's say, a double one here, and the first one I want to add in an image, so I'll begin typing that in. I can upload that here, and then over here I can add in, let's say, bar counters and I can go through and I can add in each of them here. So you can see that just as with the Divi Builder in the back end, you can go in and you can add in your sections, you can add in the different modules. And the difference here is when you use the Visual Builder, you're going to be able to see it live. So you notice, for instance, when I was here with the text and I was editing the text, now I can simply just highlight the text and I can make the changes that I want to. I can, I can bold it, I can italicize it. I can change the header, I can change the size, I can change the font. So whatever I do, I can do it right here and I can see everything happen live. So now everything you do, it's going to happen live in front of you. You can drag and drop the sizes. Everything is going to be very easy for you to visualize. So this really saves you a tremendous amount of time from having to save your draft, preview it, not like something, go back, edit it again, and then continue that process until you get it just right. So this is a, a great reason to use the Visual Builder when you're creating sites. So it's a huge time saver and especially for all those little things that I talked about that tend to pop up, you're able to make all those changes from the front end. So I've been able to create websites a lot faster using this just because of those reasons alone, really. So now you're gonna be able to add your header tags, create links, create lists, adjust alignment, color, sizes, everything from just highlighting your text. You can create the responsive sites just with the click of a button and editing it on the live preview. So these visual builders are very powerful. You never lose any of the changes, so you can never mess up your website. You can quickly revert back with just a click. So I really suggest that you go and try it out yourself. Go to the Elegant Themes website. They have a live demo. And before you install it on your website or you get a subscription to Elegant Themes, go ahead and try it out for yourself and you'll see just how easy it is, how fast it is, and how powerful it is. So I really hope this gives you a good idea of what you can do with the visual editor and what you can do with Divi 3.0. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.